As you walk down So many different change of roads May the sunlight Follow you wherever you go May the laughter Let's take a look Greet you like a moon Where you lay okay. your head, you may <laughs> feel like home. Go. Okay, baby, let's take a look and see what all we got in here. This is the Pioneer Play Kit from Love Every. It's for 16, 17, and 18 month old. So let's see what we've got. So we have the informational booklet here. He doesn't care about that. He mostly is going to care about the box and this giant piece of cardboard. This is a pegboard. Let's see. That's not what goes in there. Okay. So this comes with these different colored pegs and they can fit in here and you can stack a bunch of them up. So, and then we have this little canister here and inside of it are all these different little critters. So you can learn the names of things. Butterfly and they all will They'll kind of stick to the outside there. So that's nice because they store inside. And you can, you can play with the outside. And you can play with the outside so you don't have stuff kind of floating around everywhere, which is always nice. We've got a new book called Max and Nana Go to the Park. We've got this little bag here and inside, I believe this is going to be a threading tool. So it kind of has this thread here and then different types of beads that he can practice putting on there. Okay, so we've got that. And then last but not least. That looks awesome. It's a racetrack. That's so cool. Here's the track. Got two little cars here. I don't, think, I don't think they sit up there. <laughs> just kind of... Whoa! Whoa! The red car won. Oh, now he's like, oh, okay, hang on. We also have a puzzle. And he's really liking Whoa! puzzles these days. Same puzzle. <laughs> okay, so we recently got our act together and are finally starting to do a toy rotation. It's one of the greatest things that I finally got around to doing. So currently, he only has 10 toys out <laughs> to play with at a time and then the rest are put away in the closet. And the plan is to rotate them um, about every two weeks. So these new toys that we just got, we're gonna, we'll, probably bring into the rotation you know one or two at a time um but they're not he's not i know we just opened the box together and you know he's playing with them right now but we'll probably leave them out for the day for him to look at but then uh tonight i'll put him put him away and uh switch around some of the rotation maybe put one of the new one or two of these new ones into it prior to us actually setting this up I mean, there wasn't anything that we actually had to set up. It was really more just we needed to, to remove things and kind of figure out what our system was going to be, how often we wanted to do the rotation and how many toys we wanted out at a time. All of his toys were out. And one of the big things about limiting the number of toys is it supposedly allows your child to focus more because they're not distracted by so many things. And, you know, they don't have as many options, so they're more likely to you know, play with what they're really interested in. I think this has been really great because I think we've been able, I personally have been able to see more what he actually wants to play with. Before we did the, you know, paring down of the toys and we had everything out, I was constantly like, what does he actually like? What toys is he into? And I, I couldn't really tell because it seemed like everything was switching around so often. But then now that we switched to only having 10 toys, I'm, it's very clear. Okay, 
he played with the cups today, or he played with the pegs today, or the puzzle, or the balls, or whatever. Like, I can see exactly what it was that he was playing with and what he's interested in, which helps me to come up with other activities that are gonna focus on what he's interested in at this time. But like I said, we're gonna keep the toys out probably for the rest of the day, and then he, and then kind of put away and do some rearranging. He is probably going to play with mostly the cardboard, um, but he does seem to be interested in things, which is good and exciting, and um, we will probably add in a few more clips of him playing with these toys throughout the next few weeks, and we will see you next week. Someday